Well, hey, all you MGI viewers, it is time to play more Minecraft. <laughs> Did anyone lol? <laughs> we are in episode 171. We have just emerged from Exomine. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that mining excursion, because guess what? We ain't done. Now, uh, before I go back to the mine, I am going to uh, do a little more work on this castle here because one of my YouTube users, sorry I didn't uh, remember to look at your name, gave me a couple of ideas. They were just so excited about the project they wanted to help. And you can help too. If you want to submit your ideas for the castle, you can uh, post a comment. No, don't post a comment to my profile. I do read those, but I usually get to them about a week after they've been posted, so that's not a fair avenue for idea sharing. However, you can uh, send me a message. You know I reply. Anyone who's ever sent me a message will tell you, yeah, he replies to his messages. Unless you didn't ask a question, you just said something like, you're awesome, or I can't wait to see more. I don't reply to those. But, um, believe me, I appreciate the support. If you're not going to donate, tell me I'm doing a good job. Because the motivation can get, uh, can get tipsy these days. If I ever have a bad day uh, at work, or, or something happens and I'm just all bent out of shape, hearing that what I'm doing is uh, pleasing someone is a, uh, a great encouragement. I'm not telling you to say I'm awesome. I'm just asking that if you are compelled to comment on my uh, my idea here, what I'm doing. You are awesomer. So, what I'm doing right now as the night approaches is I'm finishing up this part of the spire here and I'm going to go over some of the commentaries and things that people have been saying over the last couple of episodes because there's been a lot of talk about this and that and I honestly forget half the stuff that I say sometimes because the videos get recorded a little bit in advance, sometimes way in advance. Uh, with good reason, of course, it just is easier on me to record them in advance and address the comments later. If I tried to do this every day, I just would not have the time. So, we're, uh, we're talking about the, uh, the fact that I'm leaving myself wide open to destruction by allowing the castle walls to be open like this that uh, anything can just run in and kill me at any time that is kinda true however you'll notice first of all that this glass floor here is the second floor and that is where the enemies will come in so they're being burned alive first of all if they make it past that uh, the second problem is that they can't get to me if I'm on the first floor, which I have these ladders here as an escape. Obviously, I haven't built this yet, but, you know, that's coming. So I will be safe from that type of harm uh, in the future. But uh, what I want to do uh, for the next part of this is I want to make the official chest storage area. And I think it's going to be an underground deal. Ooh, iron. Yeah, that's right. I was I was smelting iron. Let me do a quick furnace chest because it's been about two, two and a half weeks since I actually uh, <coughs> got into my chests here. And everything, Nothing except spiders can get in this way. Spiders and creepers and everything else can come in this way. But chances are I will see them. Yeah, right, Sorv. No, I will. I promise you. Oh, and more iron. So let's move that over, shall we? I should probably make iron blocks. But uh, I am in desperate need of organization, because as you can see, uh, I've just got a mess of items everywhere. But the first thing we have to do is create our Italian wool, and this is something that I've been wanting to do since this began. So let's do it now. And I believe... No, you can't change that back into a block. But that's okay. Here we go! Blue wool! Yay! Alright. Blue wool is awesome! Light gray wool. And what else? 
Um, bone meal, definitely a good thing. I got more bones to add to that. Might as well make it now. And I'm really just playing catch up because I have so many different things going on. I want to make a wool chest. Yeah, what's over there? Okay, that's a cow. I want to make a wool chest so that I can uh, store all of the different colors of wool and take up the collection because I understand there are 15 different kinds of wool colors if I'm accurate on saying that you can correct me if I'm wrong but uh, yes I believe there are 15 different kinds of, of wool that you can color now not including of course the uh, the white wool oh hey chicken would you like to die? I thought so hey is there any uh anything out here that can kill me? Because I really want that chicken over there. Where'd he go? Oh well. Doesn't matter. If I get killed, like I said, I am actually standing at the spawn point, so they'll, uh, you know, I won't have to go far to get my stuff back. That's, that's smart, don't you think? I do. Okay. So, I got a lot of gravel. We'll add to that. Just kind of clear out the inventory here. Oh, and of course, the iron that I just collected must be smelted. Get that process going. I thought I had gold uh, in here. Yes, I have seven gold. Not that that really means anything, but hey, what are you going to do? Gold is, is useful just to look pretty. I don't have enough for a block, but that's okay. Oh, of course, deposit the diamond. Is there any in this chest? See, when I have to chest hop like this, it makes it difficult to remember what I'm doing. Uh, what else? What else? More redstone. Hooray, mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, it's pretty much, oh, the gray wool, too. And, and, oh, there's more gray wool. Why do I have two stacks of gray wool? I don't understand that. That's so for you. Okay. Oh, something just died. It was a chicken. It died in the nether space. I don't see uh, too many mobs. The threat's not really there. So, here's what I want to do. Basically, I want to... Oh, hello. Where's my axe? Is it back in the chest? Probably. Or I broke it and need to make a new one. But I've got the iron for it. I think I'm up to two and a half stacks of iron after this is done. Melting. Yeah, it's going to be, a little, well, maybe two stacks. There we go. The gold ingots. We must have those. And, yeah. Yeah, see, I got gravel here, and then I got more in that other chest. That doesn't work. Because I'm probably, what I really would like to do is, is take this and finish it. And then, uh use it as a multiplayer thing because recently if this video gets up when I want it to recently Notch um, blogged after being away for a little over two weeks which is not good but Notch is Notch and he does what he pleases why wouldn't he with all that money of his <laughs> I'd like a piece of that man one dollar for every view I think I've stated that before in, in my uh, MGI plus uh, game, er, uh, series. One dollar for every view, that's all I want. As of right now, if I get more views after that, that's fine, but I just want a dollar of view from Notch or whoever, and then I'll be able to do this all the time, every day, all day, just for you. Oh yeah. So I'm just putting that out there. Let's build the stairs down here to the courtyard. Oh, you bugger. Why did it do that? I guess I was standing at too steep of an angle. But the stairs make it easier so I don't have to jump. And I don't have to keep going back and forth to get these chests. Uh, you know how I like to do it. The long, hard, extremely stupid way. What was I looking for? Cobblestone. Combine these two stacks. Probably gonna need more stairs, so... Might as well get him wet now. You know. Ooh, flower. I would like to red dye you, please. There we go. Red wool. Do I have any yellers? 
Yellow flowers? No, not yet. I do have a bucket of lava, though. That could be uh, fun. Could make a lava moat or a lava area in the courtyard. I tell you what uh, I should do, since this is an uneven area here of ground, as I stand in the face of death and danger, uh, I'm going to fill that in with dirt. I should have enough dirt for the job. If not, I'll make it out of something else. Maybe I'll use gravel. Gravel makes a nice floor. It looks like carpeting, right? But then I'd have to dig the dirt out. Then I would have enough dirt for the job anyway. Oh, the decisions a miner must make. <clears throat> uh, what to do? Wooden floors are nice, too, and I have the wood for that. Yeah, maybe I'll make it a wooden floor, and then I'll just dig the rest of that dirt out to use it for later. But anyway, back to the YouTube user that I was talking about. They sent me some ideas, and I looked at the, the castle that they had built. It was really cool, and I liked... You're dead. I liked uh, the idea of putting two round spires at the entrance here, because this is kind of going to be the, the entrance to the place, and then have stairs going up to a, a silo or something, another, another unit of some kind. So that's going to look really cool. People have been telling me more and more frequently over the last... Uh, I don't know, all episodes, ever, this Mo Creatures mod that has been uh, buzzing around, people have been telling me that I should use it. And honestly, I don't really want to use the Mo Creatures mod. Everyone knows my standpoint on mods in the first place. But more specifically and fairly, Mo Creatures doesn't really appeal to me. I kind of like playing Minecraft the way it was uh, originally designed. Know what I mean? I don't really like to uh, change the game all that much, except for things like the spawn point, which I feel should be a change that you can make through some kind of item uh, creation. So that's that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, I, I like the mobs that are in the game. I don't see any real reason to change that number. If Notch decides to create more mods, uh, mobs, that's fine. But me, not so much. So that's my rant about that. And honestly, I don't see the big deal. Somebody needs to explain this to me so that I may understand why in the world is it such a big deal that you add more mob types to the game. I mean, more creatures is definitely cool, and I am, I am considering using it for... Uh, certain parts of Project Legend, but but honestly, what's the deal? Why? I'm not asking to be a troll. I'm, I'm really wanting to know if, if there's a reason someone can give me that I should put Mo Creatures into this, or any any modification that, that adds mob types to the game. Let me know why it's a good idea. Why it's a bad idea. I want to know. Because maybe I'm just being ignorant. Maybe it would be a good idea. It would be fun. But I just don't see it. I don't see the need. So there you go. Putting that out there. Dropped a big bomb on y'all viewers watching. But why bother with mo creatures? And how hard is it to put in the stupid game? Because I know some people that have used that mod and have a real hard time adding it. And that's another thing I don't like about mods in general is that they can be a real pain in the arse to... Uh, oops to add to the game. So, even if it wasn't that difficult, what's the point? Why? Is it, is it, you know, is it necessary? Is it just to add more fun? Because you know how I feel. This is why I, I go on about the mods so much. When you make a game and people mod the crap out of it, you might feel like, hey, what's the point in developing this game any further? People are just going to make it the way they want, no matter what I do. If I were Notch, I might feel like that. So maybe that's why we've seen a slowdown in development, because there's certain people that have got sick and tired of waiting for things that they would like to see in the game. And although Minecraft is an extremely creative experience, they've taken that a little too far, I think. What the modders do is, is fine. I don't judge them. But let's face it. If you're sick of waiting for certain updates, you eventually take your powers and say, hey, I'm just going to do it myself. Screw Notch. Now, I have to be honest. I, if I had the coding ability, 
and the ability to understand a decompiled Minecraft, because I have seen it. I might do it too, but I wouldn't do it for single player. I like single player the way it is, because it runs as it should. What I would change is multiplayer. Oh, here he goes again on the multiplayer. Yeah, that's right. Well, Notch recently added this whitelisting business, and I know that I'm kind of against whitelisting, but actually, I'm against admins that get mad when something they built gets griefed, and so they think everybody's a big fat jerk, meanie weenie force, and they decide that they're going to whitelist the server because they don't want people ruining their things. Well, whitelisting isn't going to protect you against that. It's only going to prolong the agony. But more realistically, if you're an admin and you get mad, crybaby, if uh, something you built gets destroyed, you don't deserve to be an admin. Did he just say that? Oh yes, I did. You don't deserve to be an admin because how in the world can you tell me that you were actually surprised that someone disrespected your property? You know, it's just like in real life. If somebody smashes your, uh, your car uh, window and steals your stereo, how could if if you live in an area where crime is apparent and that kind of stuff goes on, how you could be surprised and actually complain about it to the people you work or play with, that uh, that your your car got smashed and your radio got stolen is beyond me. You shouldn't be surprised. You should be upset, sure, but uh, not to the point where you rage quit and and cry like a little baby. This stuff happens. It doesn't make it right, but it doesn't change it. Now, if you're going to whitelist because you want to protect your server uh, for from that kind of thing, go ahead. That's fine. But good eggs go bad. And what I mean by that is, even if you whitelist a server, people still get into arguments. They fight over stuff in the game. They get really into the game. And I actually raise an eyebrow sometimes when I hear some of these arguments because they seem a little silly. You built on my land, or we're going to war because we think you stole something, or whatever the case is. <laughs> and and I think to myself, well, it's it's really awesome that you guys are getting into this so much. But, uh, you know, no need to fight. But they do. And somebody that might normally be a good, upstanding member of your community might get upset and decide, you know what, I don't care anymore. And they're going to go on a rampage in all of the powers that you might have given them, and they're going to grief everything and but my server was whitelisted well now you see the, r the ramifications of that not whitelist anymore eventually it becomes you throw your hands in the air and say you know what I hate everyone I'm not doing this but that's like I said that's a bad admin quality so we're uh, ranting about <laughs> this and that and we're building the uh, floor to the place it's looking pretty good, but I, of course, have to hack down some more of these trees, uh, you know, so I can build the uh, the rest of the floor here. I probably can get away with another stack of wood to fill the other part of this area. And, of course, every time I get rid of a burning block, I take a little lag away from the game. And that is a good thing that I like. Oh, this tree was unscathed. Well, let's get rid of it now, shall we? So yeah, that's that's my big rant about that. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I don't know what else I can tell these people. You know, Minecraft multiplayer is fun, but admittedly it is not finished. And the more mods that come out, I think the, the more damage it's actually going to do to the long-term experience that people are wanting. Because everybody wants something different out of Minecraft which, you know, I saw early on, the different play styles. Heck, I developed subpaths representing most of them, and guilds to hold them all, and a council to govern the guilds, and it just is a happy server. But because we don't have certain levels of protection at the moment, except for this whitelisting now, which I guess I'm going to have to do, right? You guys wouldn't play nice, so we're going to have to restrict who enters, but it shouldn't be too hard to get in. You know, just get on the forums, you know, say who you are and what you plan to do, and then we'll uh, take you on a little spin through the world. But the minute you break something or, or do something naughty, you're out. You're beat. 
and that's just the way it's going to have to be until I can get admin tools and reopen the server publicly for everyone to play. Yeah. All right. Oh, the other thing. Uh, people said that they like longer Minecraft videos. There's only a few of you out there that said, I don't like watching longer videos. And, you know, the general response was not that they don't like watching longer videos because they're longer. It's because they think that a longer video takes more time to release. And I am now going to talk to you about the pains of running a successful YouTube channel. I don't know if I check out these channels too and a lot of them are not really that impressive so how could you know but running a successful YouTube channel is not easy and the reason is because especially with the amount of videos the volume of videos that I upload it is very difficult that was dumb very difficult to get these videos online and a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is not all that I do this is all that I would like to do but I can't right now, because the only way that I can pay for stuff, i.e. my bills, is with my paycheck from work, which is third shift, and anyone who's worked third shift knows that that sucks. And working at a job like that, you're never going to make enough money to get anywhere in life. You're going to work there for 40 years and retire old and bitter. And that's not for me. I'm a dreamer. I got goals to achieve, and I want to take all you guys with me. But I can't do that if I don't got the cash. I gotta go to work and I gotta stand there and do whatever they want me to do. And that's time that I could be spending making videos and running a server and getting modders in there to run it better. Have it up 24-7. The perfect world scenario. And that's just the way it is right now. I don't really know how else to put it. I need to get back to the computer. And until I do... MGI will will not be able to reach its full potential. So, that's that. If you feel like donating, you're donating to a worthy cause. All of the monies donated to MGI go towards running MGI. Nothing else. And that's pretty simple to understand, I think. No, it can't get much more straightforward uh, than that. But donations are a tricky thing. Because... It's tough to uh, consider where your money's going these days. I'm really talking to the rich people here. If you are rich and have a PayPal account, send some my way. You won't regret it. And we are, uh, I might as well tell you this now, we are going to start merchandising MGI products on the gifts page. Uh, for donation gifts, you will receive different things. However, I am not object for people who choose to donate freely to send them free gifts anyway. So, the choice is yours. When you see these merchandisings go up, you know, it'll, you'll get something back. We're a non-profit organization. We give to our, our viewers, but we do require certain levels of money to continue running. And that's that. Boy, I've really, uh, I've really gone off on a wild tangent here. Which, by the way, makes great games. Wild tangent does. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to build a... Well, I'm going to start building the room for the chests. And this is a pretty simple design here. Um, I basically want to come off the spire from right about here. We'll do it this high. This this looks like a good height. Oh, i got to get closer. There we go. Okay, and then I'll just come out, you know, six or seven blocks to make the room shape. It's actually more like a, a second floor type thing, but I'm not going to cover the entire thing because I want the sunlight to beam down in the daytime into the inner courtyard. So, that's how we'll do that. I should probably use some light so that you can see what I'm doing. So that I can see what I'm doing. Heck, and of course I'm very exposed but I'm uh, optimistic so this this will probably carry right over into there whoops it is one too far down probably carry right over there we go good and then I can make an entrance way 
on the second floor. Did that line up with the second floor? No, it's one down, but that's good. I'm going to use stairs to uh, to get to there. So you'll run through here, and uh, oh, that won't work. Oh, yeah, it will. I'll just get rid of this. Get rid of these. Wait. Wait. No. We're not doing that. Well, that's not going to work. Or will it? Oh, I know. I will, uh... Let's make an extra modification right here. I should really replace this with netherrack, too, while I'm at it. But what I want to do is take, uh... Get more of this. Why am I hearing cave noises? Is it because I'd made a, a cave type of thing? I don't know. If you hear cave noises like that, it's probably why. Um... Yeah. What I what I want to do here is make this a one wide hallway with these stairs because uh, I'm pretty sure that this yeah yeah that's uh that's that so I have to cut this out which is no problem because that's where my torches were it works out pretty nice don't you think? put this here. And yes, this is going to be a hodgepodge of materials. You know it. Know it. Put these here. There we go. And the basic idea. Any mobs? Two cows. I like cows. I'm just going to put these here. Get another set. Probably do a third one. I don't think I made any wooden stairs, so, you know, there's that. Oh, and so we're all clear. The thing about making longer videos, like I said, does not mean that it's going to take longer for them to come out. It just means that um, they're going to be longer. That's it. The length of the vid uh, the time that it takes the videos to come out has nothing to do with the length of them. It has to do with, like I said, what's going on in my life and how much time... I can't afford or uh, to, to put into it. And that's that. So if you got money, send it my way. You won't regret it. I better get rid of this. This looked kind of cool, but it also kind of looks weird. You know, I don't know. There. So now you can get up here that way. Nice and easy. And we'll place our first chest. It's going to be right over here on the side of the wall. So I'll put a cobbledy stone behind there, and I guess I'll I'll run this up here, because that that's all going to be covered in anyway. So in this chest, I'm depositing my wool. We'll do a little rainbow thing. We've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then on the second row, well this will go down here because that's the source. Do light gray, dark gray, and black. And then that should be it. We got eight colors there, and then four, that's twelve. And I know there's a few shades, so I'll put that intermediately. And that'll be sweet. Uh, might as well put a work table up here. So that when I'm coming and going, I can use that to create more. For example, need another chest, another double chest. But this double chest is going to hold... Uh, certain building materials such as dirt. <clears throat> I guess I'll put dirt and gravel in here. That's probably a good idea. See, this is this is flowing better. Hey, cow, can I ask you a question? Well, he didn't want to talk. Oh, well, hey, pig. Health foods are also going to be stored. <clears throat> I'm not creating a new Mori or anything like that. I'm just just making a uh, a castle. And why not do a little multiplayer with it <coughs> for something? <coughs> Who knows? <coughs> so let's take all of the gravel that we've collected, put it in in this chest. I like how that, that stairway just kind of flows, too. didn't see any mobs. Two nights with no mobs. That's weird. Well, this episode is over. It's gone 30 minutes, and I had fun making it. I hope you enjoyed my rants. And I'll see you in episode 172, where we will continue. Thanks for watching. See you then. Oh, yeah.